This tutorial covers installing PyEnv to install Python on macOS. PyEnv allows for version management of Python on different operating systems. Open up the terminal, which is in the utilities folder on your Mac. I'm just going to drop it into the bottom toolbar. Current versions of Mac use Z Shell, which is similar to Bash. So currently on this install of, of the Mac, Python doesn't work. There's no Python, there's a Python 3, but it's not the version that we want. So you can just check it um, with which Python, it appears to be not installed. Python 3 uh, can be installed with the developer tools. We don't need this step, but I need the command line developer tools on the Mac anyway. So I'm just going to install it through this interface. And it's going to install a bunch of different packages. I'm running Monterey for the install, but I did upgrade it to Ventura afterwards. So the SCO command line tools did install Python 3, but it's not the version that I want to use. I want to use Python 3.11. I'm going to install PyM using Homebrew. So you first need to install Homebrew on the Mac. Go to the brew.sh website in a web browser, copy the script on the front page, drop it into the terminal, and press enter. It will take several minutes to install. After the install, we're going to need to add some additional text into the .z profile. By default, the Mac is running Z shell and not bash. So at the start up, we're going to have to set the path for the executables to a different Python. So rather than the next steps, you've got this echo, uh, echo, and it's going to concatenate into the bottom of .z profile. I had some problems with the copy and paste because I have lookup enabled. I have to go into the system preferences to disable lookup. With lookup disabled, I was able to copy and paste the short snippet in, which is going to concatenate the uh, echo and the eval into the bottom of the dot profile file. With brew installed on the Mac, and I can now use brew to install pyenv. The syntax is brew space install space pyenv. The installation of pyenv took several minutes. At the end of it, I had a version of pyenv installed. There's some additional configuration that we need to do for the path. So I'm using Z shell, which is the default shell on the Mac. So I'm going to copy the first line and drop it in to the dot Z shell RC. The two arrows is a concatenation. It means that it's going to add it to the end of the line. So after adding the three lines to the bottom of the Z shell RC, I'm ready to start using pyenv. Z shell RC normally runs at startup, but since we don't want to reboot the computer or log in or log out, we can do source, which will run the contents of Z shell RC, source.z shell RC. So I just used brew to install pyenv. Now that I have pyenv running, I can use pyenv to install Python. And the syntax is pyenv space and the version of Python that we want installed. 3.11.4 is the most recent stable version of the long-term stable release of Python as of July 16th. So 3.11 also added some additional performance increases to Python. Reading the output of the console, you can see that it's using readline from Homebrew. So if you don't have readline installed, you may get an error message and then you have to install it with Homebrew or Zlib from the Xcode SDK. So I have Xcode installed as well. So as you're going through this install process, if there's libraries like LZMA that is missing, you can search for it on Stack Overflow or some other source and figure out what you need to install. In this case, LZMA is in the XZ package. So I'm going to do brew install XZ to get LZMA installed on the Mac computer. With XZ installed, I'm now going to uninstall the Python 3.11.4 and reinstall it. This step may not be necessary, although you know it's pretty quick, so I just decided to 
just install it, uh, uninstall it, and then reinstall Python 3.11.4. So just go pym uninstall 3.11.4 and then pym install 3.11.4. So it took a few minutes to install. Once it's installed, we need to set the version of Python to use. I'm going to set the default global on my Mac to 3.11.4. So pym global 3.11.4. And then now the default version of my Python is 3.11.4. I still have the original system Python installed. Before finishing the video, we're going to cover a few more tips on how to configure the Mac terminal here for development. One is the ls command. So if you do ls hyphen up in color, you can see the colors, the, the subdirectory of the folders will be different colors. ls hyphen capital F will uh, show you a slash at the end of a folder. And we can alter the default behavior uh, by either changing the dot z shell rc or the dot z profile on the map so i've already started the process here i didn't set up an alias for ls so we can do that right now so the syntax is alias ls there's no not supposed to be a space in the equal sign uh, that's an error i'm going to uh, have an error very shortly but we can correct it so to run the contents is source and the name of the file and there's a bad assignment so let's go to the ls line here and delete the spaces around the equal sign for the bash syntax and run source.z profile again and now ls gives me the nice colors as well as the slash at the end of the folder the whole purpose of installing pym and getting the same python version so that we could all work collaboratively on this site that we are prototyping right now for the Theta plugins. I'm using uh, pipenv. Uh, so there's pyenv and there's also pipenv, which have pip and a virtual environment. So pipenv shell, and then it will run the, uh, eventually we'll, we'll run the Django application here with Python manage.py run server. Django starts up a development server on localhost 127.0.0.1 on port. So that number after the colon is the port 8000. So you have multiple ports on a single IP address 8000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000128000